uh, with the guys or with the team? Or? No, no, we're, uh, you know, it's a little bit different just because there's no school tomorrow. So we'll have our practice and we'll have a little turkey upstairs and uh, we'll be thankful for all of our blessings for sure. You're not worried about the trip to fan slowing them down or anything? No, I mean, we'll have enough time to recover. We play so late in, you know, a couple days later, so we'll be all right. What do, you have to, what do you have to be thankful for, Coach? You know, being here, being with these guys, being a part of this this game, you know, I really mean that. Uh, you know, we we can put so much on this, and, uh, you know, I always say this. I mean, it's, sometimes we make this thing life and death, and, and we, we forget to slow down and just kind of appreciate it. And I think coaches are as guilty as anyone, myself as guilty as anyone. And, and so I think that, you know, Thanksgiving comes at a good time to say, hold on, let's keep this in perspective. And, Appreciate being part of this set. So you have to resist the urge to, to go back and game plan some more? Or? No, the good thing is is that by that time, you know, even if we have more ideas, we can't get them installed and all those things. So it's it's all done. It's all done, uh, you know, by today for the most part. Where, uh, what areas has your young secondary improved the most this season? I mean, is well, there anything specific that, that, you know, you've seen? You know, I think techniques and understanding, I mean, there's so much there. You know, I, I don't know if there's a if there's a harder position to play, maybe out there on an island, and then safeties are on an island inside, and so not only learning the schemes how we do them, but then there's what other offenses do, and the offenses in the Pac-12 are so unique, no more so than this weekend, and so I do think that they've gained a lot of knowledge. I think they've you know playing faster and those things, and, you know they're gonna be tested like they haven't been tested all year for sure. So. Big challenge. It, other than the sheer volume of passes they're going to see this weekend, yeah. I mean, what in particular about that scheme and and what Mike Leach does with that is, is so unique? Um, you know, I, th I think they're always kind of into the quarterbacks, always going to the right area with the ball. You know, they're all about space and matchups and those type of things. And I think those guys understand it inside and out. I mean, that's what they do is throw the ball and they do it really well. This is another, another game where you're going to have to really pressure them with, with just those front four. And, you know, I don't think you can do any one thing, but it's, you know, again, it's this, this is this is hard because uh, they, they you got to pressure them, but they're good at pass protecting. And the quarterback's good at getting the ball out, just like we said. I mean, when they know that, the ball's going to come out quick. It doesn't hold it and those type of things. And so, you know, our guys are just going to have to play a really, really good, hard-fought game. I mean, for us to, to be able to slow them down. Danny slinged you at all with his bow and arrows this week? <laughs> I just stay away from Danny. <laughs> on game day, I tap him on the helmet and say, play hard. <laughs> you guys don't have an archery period or well, anything? I don't know. I'm not practice. sure what he's doing. I'm not even asking him. I'm not even going there. I'm not sure I want to know what he's trying to get to with those. So. How are the guys feeling the last couple of days here before you take off? Yeah, I think they're feeling okay. Um, you know, it's it's we played well last week, but again, it's in this in this business, it's like, and on to the next thing right away. And that's why you know, I think the first question about Thanksgiving, what we're thankful for, you know, to keep the bigger picture in perspective is appropriate. Because uh, we are. You know, it's been a long season. And last game here for, for a break. And, um, so, excited to see these guys play. Coach, the uh, Apple Cup has always had this legacy of turning in some competitive and crazy games. What are you picking up about the whole Apple Cup Mystique. Well, I, th I think it'll be that. I really do. I think it's going to be extremely, you know, hard fought. I think guys will play their best. I think there's so much emotion and passion. It just it brings it out in the guys. And, uh, you know, I think there'll be plays on both sides to be made. Whoever can, you know, withstand the momentum swings, can, can withstand the momentum swings, will we'll do the best. You've, you've had some pretty good kickers before. Um, what, what about what Cameron's done this year? You know, yeah. What's allowed him to be so consistent? And yeah, I think he's just got a lot of leg talent. I think he's very passionate about what he does. Works really hard on it. Um, you know, seems to stay pretty, pretty in the moment and not, you know, not let it get too big for him. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, with kickers, specialists, those type of guys, that the moment sometimes can get too big, and he hasn't, uh, he hasn't seemed to have done that. I know you probably prefer to score a few more touchdowns in the red zone instead of settling for field goals, but does, does he make it? <laughs> does he make that an easier call when it's fourth and medium and you know it's probably going to be three points if you send him out there? You, um, you might have just hit on maybe some of our red, red zone problems. He said we don't go for it enough because we feel pretty confident with Cam. 
And so uh, he's done a great job this game. Hold on. I don't want these guys ruining the shot. This is really key to this game plan. You stay put. <laughs> Sorry. Distracting right now. Yeah. So, what, what have you seen about their defense? The, do they resemble you schematically? Do they resemble anybody that you guys have played so far this um, Not, I mean, everybody's got their own unique spin. And as much as much blitzing as they do, I think that they're unique in their own right. I mean, it's definitely different than what we've seen. I mean, we've seen these blitzes um, for the most part, but I don't know if we've seen the volume of them that they seem to bring in the game. And... Uh, they just keep bringing them, and so I think that's kind of unique. So they blitz more than Arizona State, for instance? Um, I think that they're right up there. I do. And uh, and they might have more volume of blitzes. You know, Arizona State, they bring it a lot. They kind of have their, their uh, you know, the couple that they're going to bring for that game. And Washington State seems to be pretty unique where, uh, you know, they game plan you, and then they have – the whole uh, the whole gamut of blitzes, and so it's unique and it's all right. Thanks, guys.